Hello everyone, Tom from everystepphysics.com, everystepcalculus.com. I'm going to do a physics problem right now with a, regards to a baseball hitting a glove. It's a usual uh, physics test problem. I'll read it. A 0.15 kilogram baseball is pitched with a speed of 40 meters per second, 88 miles per hour when the ball hits the catcher's glove. The glove moves back by 3.7 centimeters, 1.48 inches as it stops the ball. What was the change in momentum of the baseball? What impulse was applied to the baseball? Assuming a constant acceleration of the ball, what was the average force applied by the catcher's glove? Let me show you what I've programmed in this regard. Uh, physics to get to the main menu. We're going to scroll down here to baseball. It's glove. Um, generally, when in programming, if there's a, a usual problem that I see a lot, then I, I put it in the menu as such, baseball hits glove. But uh, you can find these from other things because if you're asking for momentum, you can go to momentum in the, in the program also and um, put in what's given and it should come up with the correct uh, formula and answer there too but i like to do glop it all into one situation here which i've done in this program and, and other programs uh, we're going to enter the mass now to do that we're going to have to press alpha before you enter anything in these entry lines here in the in the way my programs work so alpha point one Five. And, I, and since conversions are a big deal in physics, I always give you the chance to, just in case they give you grams or pounds or newtons, and in this case kilograms, so we're going to choose number two. I like to use the numbers in front of these instead of the, you can scroll down to them and click on enter, or you can use the number before the what your choice is. I'm going to choose number two. Then we're going to enter the initial velocity that was given, alpha. 40, and in this case, meters per second, number four. And then uh, the displacement, alpha. Three point seven, and they give centimeters for that. So that has to be converted. So centimeters to meters is this conversion here so make sure you have to change everything to meters for these formulas to work of course i always show you what you've entered you can change it if you want i say it's okay and the average force is 3243.2 newtons acceleration is 2.160 e to the 4 meters per second squared time is of the hit 0.00185 that's actually time occurring for the velocity to change from final velocity to, to uh, initial velocity. And J equals impulse. I always like to give you definitions of what I'm talking about in my programs. It's very clear, no, no ambiguity, ambiguity, sorry. And so the impulse is six uh, Newton times seconds. And the momentum change is minus six kilogram meters per second. Uh, you can go back and see the same problem in case you wanted to see them again, two, and go through it. Or you can go to a new problem or back to the main menu, whatever. Uh, pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Go to my site, Every Step Physics or Every Step Calculus. Subscribe so you can see other videos that I might make. And also, uh, uh, I'm trying to put all these movies in the menus for options so you can see how to do them without uh, any effort at all. Have a good one.